Hey guys, 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 what's up? Spectre here, and um, I just need to, to talk to you guys, uh, because things are changing, but in a good way. <laughs> So there's 20,000 of you now subscribed to the channel. And like every time that I hit a major milestone, I'd thank you and I'd say super youtube -y stuff. Like, um, you know, I really appreciate every single one of you who's consumed any content that I create. You're all the reason that I keep making things. One constructive comment or something nice from a viewer makes my entire day, my entire week. It's true. Um, it's very, very true. But like, I said it a lot. And so I, I kind of wanted to make this video so that I could show you what's happened and what's changed and what's going to change because, because of all this. And I thought I'd start with like where, where it started so that we could see where we're going. And um, when I started doing this, when I started running this channel, it was actually a channel all about the division. I don't know, it was gonna be sort of a place where I could try the youtuber -y thing, but also as like a portfolio so that I could show people in games press and I could one day get a job in that space, hopefully. That's what this whole thing was made for. It was basically a big portfolio that gained a bit of a following and you guys became a very important part of it. When I started, I was writing for independent sites that mostly nobody ever heard of. Um, and I was writing for free or for like pennies or a penny a word, which was tough, but it was the first contract I ever got, so yeah. And then I started doing most of the content that you've seen on this channel uh, at a crappy day job. I worked at a mom and pop pharmacy in Lower Manhattan, and most of the videos that you see on this channel were written on the subway on the way to that job or to class, because I was a full-time student at the time too. Um, or during class, honestly, and then edited uh, remotely from a Chromebook at that crappy day job. Or I was writing scripts while I was delivering meds. I delivered them on foot in like blizzards in the summer in, you know, it didn't matter. People needed their meds, I guess. It was rain, sleet or snow. And I was always writing or working while I was doing that stuff. A lot of the audio for the videos was recorded in the basement of that godforsaken pharmacy under like a moving tarp just to get some sort of sound dampening, uh, in the mix and and yeah that's just sort of what i did and during that time i started writing for like digital trends i started um making videos for kotaku doing skyrim mods the thing that most people who watch my channel or a large chunk of them uh enjoy even though i haven't gotten to make them because sony and uh yeah and so some of you might know if you creep the community page that over the last year i've been working with ign uh as a freelancer, at first I used to work for them for like three hours in the morning. It was nothing huge. Um, doing like little text videos that you see on like Twitter or Facebook when you scroll. Uh, nothing really. And then if you kept paying attention to the community page, I sort of um, talk about it sometimes how I do the daily fix now. Um, and I have been for like a, about a year now. Uh, I've been editing the daily fix, but just... <sighs> This thing was supposed to be a portfolio so that I could get a job in games media. And I didn't expect anybody to show up. And you guys just sort of did. <laughs> um, and 20,000 is not like a humongous number. And I'm not trying to act like it is, but it, it means, it's like, it really means something when you are excited about like a game or excited about this video that you made. And then like people show up and they like it too. And it's just like this feedback that's just like, this feedback loop that's just really nice. And it's like, comment sections in a lot of places suck. Most people tell you to not look at the comments and that's never been the case on my channel. And I appreciate it like really and deeply. Like there's one thing, you can have a community of 5 million people, you can have 5 million subs, but if they all suck and they hate you, you know, uh, and everyone's toxic, it's, it's not really worth it. And so I like that it's a quality community, even if it's not, enormous. And again, I didn't, I, I have never wanted to be a YouTuber. I don't have aspirations to be a YouTuber, a streamer, any of that stuff. I just wanted to make stuff and, and put it somewhere where I can control it and it doesn't disappear when a site goes under or something. 
And so I made it. And you, you guys have been really, really cool. Whether it's like sharing stories under like the more emotional videos that I've made or like just chiming in on the community page or, you know, coming back for all the Skyrim mod compilations. <laughs> um, it's been really cool. And I, I really appreciate you. And all the YouTubery things, yes, thank you for clicking and liking and subscribing and hitting stupid bells that don't do anything and, and subscribing even though subscribers don't matter in 2021. But like, thank you. Like, I, I hated my day job so much. I hated every second of that pharmacy. I spent more time with my face in a phone because I hated everything that was actually going on around me and I was just trying to like get to a better situation. Um, I was constantly refreshing job listings in the space in like games media. Always working on another script, another video idea, something just to get people to like notice me so that I could get that job. And like I used to, I used to like, I'll show it like he, here, I guess. <laughs> I used to like wear through my, my shoes. I used to like walk through blizzards, like delivering my stuff on foot. I'd have a singular thumb sticking out of my glove so that I could keep writing my scripts on my stupid phone with like a whole like just armful of like deliveries uh, in my other hand and writing Kotaku video scripts, writing YouTube video scripts for this stuff, you know, uh, writing new mod compilations, um, ideas for, for new videos. Like I'd write them on the subway, like on the way to my lectures. Uh, for school because again I was a full-time student at the same time and then just like whatever scrap of time and energy I had at the end of school and then work I put into this channel and like trying to get people to see me for like six years I don't think I would have kept going if it wasn't for the community that sort of rose up around the stuff I've been making I'm not saving the world none of us are none of the people that you watch every day like the twitch streamers and like the people who make vi we make videos about games like it's it's not a necessity by any means. Um, and a lot of people who aren't like us, who don't play games all the time or whatever, this is all foolish to them. And this isn't really taken seriously by a lot of people who are outside the space and whatever, okay. But like, it's changed the entire trajectory of like my life. I, I started on this, now I work on this. You wanna, you wanna see what my first intro looks like compared to one of my newer ones? Hey guys, it's Spectre again. Today I just wanted to give some credit to The Division for already surpassing some features in Destiny. Need for Speed is a high-octane, action-packed game with incredible customization, a surprising amount of challenge, and some frustrating hiccups. Let's get into it right now. I said right now! I don't talk about it a lot, um, at least on here, maybe on Twitter I've mentioned it. I uh, I kind of ran away from home when I was 18. I didn't, I didn't even have a bed for like years. I didn't even have a bedroom let alone a bed, for like years. <laughs> and like, because of the opportunities I've gotten through here and like my freelance work, my contractor work, you know, I have my own place. Like I have, I have really great tools that I get to use to make things every day for people to enjoy. And, and again, I'm not saving anybody's life. I'm making videos about video games, but like I was a latchkey kid growing up and like, I couldn't have friends over when my parents were out working. I couldn't go out for the same reasons, like in case anything happened while they were at work. And so like I ate a lot of like dinners by myself in front of my stupid little iPod touch, the first gen ones and watching games content. That sounds kind of sad, but I remember it fondly. It was like my chill time. I don't know, this stuff just matters. And so, you know, if you follow me for any amount of time, you know I respect your time. I try to make things that are interesting. I try to make things that are, you know, worth your time. It's just nice to know that all of that sort of busting my ass has kind of paid off. And I guess where everything is going next. Um, so I've been a contractor for about a year uh, for IGN, but starting very soon, I don't know if I'm gonna put up, probably gonna put this video up after <laughs> I, it's official, but I will be producing content at IGN. Um, it's really weird to say, and that doesn't feel real when I say it out loud. <laughs> Cause again, it's something I've been chasing for like six years. I'll be working at IGN 
and hopefully when coronavirus settles itself out, I will be down at the studio um, in LA uh, making content, <laughs> making videos for you guys. And I don't know what that means for this. I, I don't know what that means for this channel. I, I wanna keep making stuff. Um, I don't know what this will be. All the love and care and sort of attention to detail and even, you know, maybe maybe you'll notice if you watch some IGN stuff, maybe you'll see some of my editing tricks in there, some stuff you're used to seeing here. Um, I'll put all that into the content that I make there. And um, like I said, I really give a shit about the stuff that I make and your time and the content that you choose to see in on an internet where everyone is competing for your eyeballs. And that's always why I thanked you guys a lot too, because I, working for people like that, I learn how hard everyone is competing for your attention. And the fact that you clicked on anything I made in that sea of just endless content is like, I'm very grateful, especially if you came back for more, but I'm really excited. Um, I get to possibly, you know, I get to, if when everything's official and the world is a little bit more normal, I get to move across the country and make content with people I deeply respect and have looked up to for a while. And I get to make stuff for you guys and a lot more people will see it. And um, none of this was for nothing. My early videos where I was just an idiot, just doing like let's plays, but they were just like really silly ones, like me being stuck in a room and pray at like four in the morning when I had a lecture at eight. It's gonna be annoying and <laughs> some shit. Uh, where did that go? Huh. On, off, on, off, on, off. I'm so funny. <laughs> We're doing the Skyrim mod compilations that like people came back for. Game reviews, covering games that would die very soon after, or stuff like Cyberpunk, which it's just really nice for it to be worth it. And I still can't believe it, even when I say stuff like that out loud, like that I'm gonna work there. But I hope you'll still follow me in my work. Um, I'll probably jump into the community tab every once in a while and just ask you guys what you're playing. Maybe try and talk to you guys. Um, maybe point you towards stuff I've made at IGN. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the future of this channel is. And I don't know even how many people care. I'm kind of just making this sort of for myself too, as like a, a record of what's happened and, you know, where stuff's going. Like the channel itself, it was always kind of just for me and you guys kind of showed up and it became a thing that I tried to make for everybody. And so maybe I'll get to make more stuff here. Maybe not. I hope that you don't unsubscribe uh, or just, I don't know. I hope that you check back at least. Um, and maybe I'll get to make something, whether it's about peripherals or about tech rather than, you know, software and games. I'm really excited and I'm deeply thankful for you guys for the lovely people who helped me even get on like the radar at IGN. Because like the truth is there's so many people who are talented. Like that's also why I thank you guys a lot and why I say so many people are competing for your eyeballs. There are so many good people who are like good at this thing, at games, videos, games coverage, games media, whatever you want to call it. And they won't ever get their due. I'm getting a chance. And so I'm gonna try my hardest to not screw it up. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep making stuff that lots of people enjoy. Hopefully you guys will be there enjoying it too and maybe you'll see something I sneak in or one of the characters I used on one of my videos here on the channel, which I try to do already. If there's any cyberpunk stuff, my character's usually in it. And if we're covering Elder Scrolls 6 stuff in the future, I'm definitely sneaking in like old mod coverage footage if we're referencing Skyrim or something. I just wanted to say thank you. And this is a weird, this isn't a goodbye. I just don't even know what it is, but I, I wanted to say it face to face because I feel like Ever since I started this channel, I've been this disembodied voice. Like, I don't even talk like this in my videos. I give you guys the, the copy voice, the voice that people give you on screen. And it's just like, I wanted something a bit more real this time around. Just thank you. Thank you for absolutely everything. Thank you for like being constructive and kind. Every time I asked for ideas or, or asked for your feedback, everyone was always so like giving without being demanding or rude or condescending or just, it's just like been a pleasure. I'll see you guys soon in a different form, <laughs> but I'll see you guys soon. And as always, 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 thanks for watching guys. <laughs>